my job is a middle uh, elementary school art teacher, and I ended up there after I was I've been in education for twenty some years, but it took a roundabout route to get there. Didn't know that I wanted to be a teacher until I kind of stumbled into it. Mm -hmm. So I started out in preschool, and then taught kindergarten, regular, so early childhood ed. Then I worked in elementary ed for a few years in private schools. Then went to special education in public schools. Did that for probably six years. And for the past five years have been teaching art in public school. I teach now in North Wildwood at a public school called Margaret Mason. Um, it's a different uh, socioeconomic area than in the previous schools in which I taught. Mm -hmm. In the time when I grew up, I was not from a family that had a working mom. I had a stay-at-home mom. And my ambition at that point was to be a mom. And we didn't call them stay-at-home moms then because all moms were stay-at-home moms. It was before women were um, commonly in the workplace. So really I never thought I was going to need a career. So I guess in college probably I didn't really take it to... I mean, I took my studies seriously, but I never actually applied that to any thoughts of my future career. So I guess I didn't really consider my options as much as probably I should have. day was when I got to do projects, you know, artsy, creative projects with them. Um, and I had always done that also in my spare time. I was always a very crafty, you know, person and loved getting um, messy and doing all that kinds of stuff. Never put it together that that was something else you could do for a career. I thought everyone did that. And um, it wasn't until like after the early childhood and then even with special education, I had to be very creative um, in modifying kids' programs and trying to entice kids. You know, how do I make this fun for them? How do I, you know, make it more appealing to them? And so I found that I was using creativity that way. And then it, being that, I guess I was tapping into that creative part more and more often then it just kind of came forth that I became more interested personally in art for myself. And then if I was taking all these art courses because I wanted to know how to do it for me, well, like, don't I just apply that and combine the whole thing and be an art teacher? It would have been way more efficient if I had thought this out as a teenager or, you know, whenever I was in college, but I was having some other <laughs> fun then. <laughs> I don't know whether I would be in the same place. I, of course, I don't regret any of the education or the experiences that I had because it did give me an appreciation. I don't know whether I would enjoy what I'm doing now as much. I may have been like um, more cynical, jaded. It might just be a job where now it's really something I feel like, you know, I've, con I've come through all of these milestones and now you know, this is kind of what I'm choosing. I really like this. You know, I've tried this, I've tried that, I've tried this, and I really like this because I have now something to compare it to. In part because I'm able to order these wonderful supplies and the kids get to explore it and do new things. And How do you think the kids coming from that low background feel once they're introduced to all these, like, great opportunities? and like, Initially, know. scared. Yeah. They, they um, well, if they have a few different reactions. I, I think when, when I see a kid who doesn't, um, you know, who the kid who says, oh, I hate art, I don't I, I typically think that's because they're scared, and I see them sometimes with a paintbrush, and they're, like, frozen, 
because they're afraid once they put that paint on that canvas, they it's it's unchangeable and it's an always thing, and I guess they don't want to ruin it. 